Katika kile inachotaja kama mabaliko katika mpangilio wa shirika hilo, hali mashauri hiyo sasa imeamuru wafanyakazi wake kufanya kazi wakiwa nyumbani kwa zi Ijumaa hii kwa siku 30 zijazo wanaotoa huduma muhimu pekee wakiruhusiwa kuingia ofisini. The release of all staff to work from home is a procedural formality to facilitate the review of the organizational structure and this will be undertaken expeditiously to ensure that the staff complement is fit for purpose and within the approved staff establishment levels. Attendance sensitivity and empathy will be maintained as the board is committed to ensuring a smooth review and the following support measures have indeed been put in place. Mwenye kiti wa bodi hiyo B. Chao Mwadime aidha amefichua kwamba nyafa kadha katika halmashauri hiyo zitafutiliwa mbali uongozi unapozidi kufua mbinu za kubadili mfumo wa Kemsa ambao jina lake limetajwa vibaya tangu juu wa virusi vya corona nchini. All staff will be engaged and appraised. They will all be engaged and appraised throughout the notice period. And then there is the issue of psychosocial support which the board has taken into consideration and the necessary counseling and psychological support will be availed to all all staff with no exception Taarifa zinaarifu kwamba hali ya shauku na ati ati imetanda ndani ya makao ya halmashauri hiyo tangu siku ya Jumatano baada ya mamlaka hiyo kuwatumia ilani wafanyakazi wote kuhusu mkutano wa lazima. Hata hivyo wengine bado wako kwenye njia panda kwani bado hawajapokezwa barua yoyote. We have been here hearing that we are going to receive letters and uh, today has come. We have received letters and effective tomorrow, fifth. I've not received the letter, but the letters are being issued as we talk. Even me after here, I'm going to receive my letter. There's no working from home. This is sucking. No working from home. Our work involves working from here. We engage the suppliers from here. Kwa miezi sita sasa halmashauri hiyo imekuwa na bodi mpya inayoongozwa na aliyekuwa mtaalamu katika shirika la USAID Mary Mwadime ambaye pamoja na wenzake wamekuwa kijaribu kulisafisha jina la Kemsa baada ya mamlaka hiyo kukumbwa na wingu la ubadhirifu wa fedha zilizotengewa kununua bidhaa za kupigana dhidi ya janga la COVID-19. Aidha mamlaka hiyo inasemekana kuwa na wafanyakazi wengi zaidi ya idadi iliyoruhusiwa kwa ajiri ikibainika kwamba wapo wafanyakazi 791 450 zaidi ya idadi hitajika